Are you trying to network your way to a job? I'm gonna tell you the story of how I got three job offers in one week by driving for Lyft. I'm gonna break down these stories and talk about the lessons learned so you can apply that for yourself and you can network your way into a job. And if you want more great career content around networking, interviewing, and resume writing, make sure you click subscribe down below. So I had just quit my management consulting job to change careers and become a recruiter. And while I was in between jobs, I decided to drive for Lyft just to make a little bit of extra money. So my very first story starts when I was driving early in the week and I ended up picking up a woman at the San Jose private airport. I didn't know it at the time, but this is an airport that a lot of executives fly in and out of during the week on private jets. A lot of them come in from Los Angeles or Portland and stay and work during the week. After I had picked up this woman, I asked her how her flight was and that's when she explained all of these little details to me. She then asked me about my story and that's when she heard about my career switch and desire to become a recruiter. As it turns out, she was actually the head of HR for her company and they were hiring three recruiters for their team. So she ended up giving me her contact information and told me just to email her and that I could start as soon as Monday. So let's break down some of the lessons here. Well, lesson number one is you need to create a little bit of luck for yourself by putting yourself in situations or places to meet very powerful people that can help you in your career. In this case, it was a private airport for executives in San Jose. And key lesson number two is don't focus on yourself or what you need. This executive was willing to help me because I showed genuine curiosity in her and her story, and as a result, she wanted to learn more about me. So my second job offer actually came later that same day. I had picked up this gentleman from this beautiful home in Palo Alto, and I had started to ask him about his day and where he was going. That's when he told me he's on the way to work and he's the CEO of a SaaS startup. As it turns out, I had actually done a market analysis of his company in my last project as a consultant. So I started to talk to him about the industry trends and where I thought his company and competitors were going. He was so impressed, he actually asked me how a Lyft driver could know so much about his business. And that's when I told him my story and how I wanted to transition into recruiting. As it turns out, his company was actually looking to hire a recruiter for his sales team and he offered me a job right there on the spot. So what can you learn from this? Well, networking is really about adding value for that other person. Try to find ways to help them so that later on they'll be more inclined to help you. Also, doing research about the company and the industry isn't only good for answering interview questions like, why do you want to work here? It's also really good to grab the attention and build credibility with executives. And my third job offer came later on that same week when I picked up a gentleman from this mansion. And I mean huge mansion. I had to drive through three different security gates just to get to his front door. When I got there, the gentleman came running out in a huge panic. And he told me he's only got 15 minutes before his flight takes off at the airport and he was already running late. It was already going to take 15 minutes just to get from his mansion to the airport, so I knew that I really had to hurry. I ended up taking some shortcuts and some back roads to save some time. I got there five minutes before his flight was supposed to take off, five minutes faster than how long it was supposed to take in traffic. Now, the whole time I was driving him trying to beat traffic and get there on time, he was asking me a lot of questions about myself. And these were actually some pretty challenging questions that did require me to think a lot. But I kept my cool, I was able to multitask effectively, drive safely, drive fast, but also answer his questions in an intelligent way. And when I got to the airport with five minutes to spare, he was so impressed that he actually gave me a job to be his chief of staff and recruiter for his company. So the key lesson here is sometimes in networking situations, you need to prove yourself and show that you can add value and solve complex problems while working under pressure. In this case, it was about getting an executive to his flight on time without getting stressed. Now, I could have easily have told him, hey, you should have booked this lift earlier in advance so you wouldn't be late for the airport. You probably should have planned ahead, but I didn't. Instead, I thought to myself, well, how can I actually solve this problem and keep a positive attitude the entire time? 
All right, so I know we covered a lot and we jumped back and forth between stories and lessons. So here's a quick recap of the key networking lessons that we can learn from my story. Lesson number one is try to put yourself in ideal situations where you can meet powerful connections. Lesson number two is don't focus on yourself and show curiosity for the other person. Lesson number three is try to add value for that person you want to network with. Lesson number four is don't be afraid to prove yourself and show them, not tell them, that you can excel in this role. All right, well, if you learned at least one new thing from this video, please drop a like down below and subscribe for more free career content around networking, interviewing, resume writing, and career changes. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.